I mean... Here they come! like <laughs> Thank you. 
seen you limping a bit. You all right, Mr. Vickers? Need us to slow down? What are you implying? I am perfectly fit. My uh, knee is just acting up. There's no shame in being older, Mr. Vickers. Don't worry. The captain and I will take care of you. I need neither your advice nor your pity, young lady. Finally out.
Here we go! Is Reed hiding in there? Mr. Thompson is aware of your concerns and remains committed to guiding Edgewater into prosperity. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
You can see the whole world from here. No, no, just leave me alone! You're not real! You're not real! Who wants to play an impromptu tossball match? No one? No, 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 just leave me alone! Go away, Phantom! Just leave me alone! Wait, Phantom! 
it's him! You're not real! You're not real! Get away from me, Phantom! Shoot! Scram! You can talk? The Phantom's never talked before. I knew I shouldn't have eaten that Sprat raw. See? See, Higgins? This is why you must always boil your Sprats before ingesting. Of course. Do excuse me. I experienced brief flashes of mania during which I am visited by the phantoms of my imagination. Chester D. Higgins. The D stands for... Mm, hard to say. By my reckoning, Higgins has been here somewhere between two weeks and forever. My recollection's a touch fuzzy these days. Oh, Higgins has been many things over the years. I've come a long way for someone who started off as a simple engineer right here in this plant. Jimmy'd open the vending machines. That lasted a good couple of months. Eventually, I had to resort to more unconventional means of filling my insides. Mechanicals lost their bolts. Opened fire on anything that moved. It... I was on cleaning duty at the time. My old boss had me scrubbing pipes when the killing started. So, as usual, I missed out. I specialized in auto mechanicals, drones, sentry. Look, I don't want to fall into any trouble with the mechanicals. If they wise up to our plans, they will come for us. With prodding irons. You know, you remind me of myself back when I was an intergalactic adventurer. I discovered a flaw. Their hostility levels were hardwired to maximum. There's no changing that, but you could rewrite their targeting protocol so they attack each other instead. Yes, that's exactly it. I see you're also versed in the noble art of mechanical engineering. There's a behavior control terminal in the other room. It should have options to change how the mechanicals act, including whom they shoot at. Oh, uh, that reminds me. You'll need my passcode to access the behavior control terminal. Here, let me just write it down for you. The tail. Mechanicals lost their bolt. You mean why did the mechanicals go on a murderous rampage? Same reason any of us do. I was on cleaning duty.
comes. Last of them. You're not a big drinker, are you? Power's gone. Law knows how long. Looking to get drunk? Oh, I almost forgot. I'm contractually... We'll get you mostly drunk. Go ahead. Ugh, is this the start of a joke? Most folk forget where they're standing after a... Anyhow, whatever happens outside the walls is... My world is these four walls. Let me make something clear. Spacer's choice has been real good. I start gallivanting around outside the walls, poking around in places I shouldn't be, learning things. <laughs> Won't ever catch me asking about the world outside. There you go with that thinking again. Didn't anyone ever tell you it's dangerous? I've said enough. People could, if they wanted to face their prop. They're going to have to learn to fend for themselves now, Amelia. I don't see how that's any of your business. You're the first to ask after me in some time. I'll give you that. 
but I don't have a story to share. My family's work spacers cho wanted to work in the sciences once upon a time. <laughs> what happened, you ask? What always happened? I just didn't have the brains for it. Now that I'm behind a bar, I can ask all the questions I want. Important ones. Like when are you gonna pay your tab? And would you like another round of cold, refreshing zero-G? Don't talk to me that way, please. Spent many years disabusing myself of... Hmm, lab work ain't for me. They did. They gave me a life. What's wrong with that? Unless you're in Byzantium. I hear it. Not so fast. I told you about my life. Your turn to tell me about yours. So, what's your story? What's there to figure out? Stands to reason you were... You're one of those freelancers then? Running about... Well, good luck. Are we getting paid or not? Got my hands full at the moment. We pay by the finger. What do you have for me? Gil Antrim. I remember him. I'll just need your signature here. Mabel Burgess. Age 37. I remember Doc Burgess. Conducted my... Still one... supposed to do now?
We pay by the finger. Here we are. Bert was the local preacher. Well, that's all three. I must remember to requisition some more finger. You've done such a bang-up job hunting down our former workers that I thought it only proper to deputize you. Congratulations. Let me stop you there. It is official Spacer's Choice policy. Ever since the company first settled the veil. Life's good out here, but it ain't easy. Some folk can't keep pace with the demands of frontier life. Not everyone's cut out to work in Edgewater. Some turn deserter, some turn marauder. None of them get my sympathy. Everybody likes Adrena Time. It is the finest medical drug ever developed by Spacer's Choice. Much better than that crap anti-Cleo petals. Sure, a little too much. Says so right on the warning label. Violent psychosis is a well-documented and legally accounted for side effect of Adrena Time. What's on your mind? 